Hi, my name is Sergio Bernardo. I work for Ultrasonics Medical. I've been working here for eight years and I've been involved with the mechanical design of the products. I was involved with the first project that we did, the proof of concept system called the ES500. It had a really nice styling to it, a nice color scheme and a different look than what we have right now. We went from the Sonics um, ES500 to the OPSP. Uh, RP and CEP and now we've gone into the new phase. As of last year, 2008, we launched the Sonics Touch. One of the things we do here at Ultrasonics is we do vibration and shock loading testing on the mechanical design to ensure that the, um, the product meets uh, the demands of the user in, in, in real world applications. In university, one of the first things they show us is this video footage of the old Tacoma State Bridge where they didn't design the engineer properly taking into account resonance. The wind stimulated a situation which caused the bridge to start oscillating. It was quite, quite, <laughs> quite amazing footage. You actually see the whole bridge deck moving like this until it actually collapsed. With our system, we want to make sure what the first test is to see are there any situations where the forces through vibration can build up on each other and over time cause catastrophic damage to the system. We tested a small random vibration load for maybe 10 to 20 minutes and see how the system would perform gradually we would uh, increase the intensity or aggressiveness of those tests. In between each test, we would do uh, a full functional test where we would check to see that the system was operating. Obviously, the image is still there, the peripherals still work, and all the cables are still attached. From the random vibration testing, we uh, moved on to shock loading. So basically, in our plan, we, we wanted to test from 5G, 10G, 20G, 30G and 40G. Uh, I believe after 30G we had a, the system turn off, but once we got to the system, uh, we were able to turn it back on again. During all the testing, even after the, the aggressive shock loading testing, the hard drives were fully functional. We had no bad sectors and those were power on tests as well, so there was power being applied to the hard drive. So we're quite happy with those results. Moving forward, we're going to take the results that we captured from our vibration testing and make our product that much better. We're going to make it that much more robust. The end user will feel comfortable knowing that this system will be reliable and will be able to perform under harsh conditions. In the next couple of years, I, I really think that Ultrasonics uh, has a great future. As you've seen with the Sonics Touch platform, we've really been able to innovate with the, with the touch screen. In the next coming months and years ahead, you'll continue to see that innovation. The engineering team at Ultrasonics will continue to deliver uh, innovative product that will impact the end user as well as provide better health care uh, to individual patients.